An archaeological dig in Germany is proving to be one of the greatest digs ever undertaken anywhere in the world, and we're going to tell you guys why. The archaeological site in question has previously revealed hunting spears dating to 300,000 years ago, saber-toothed tiger remains, and now, now it has just revealed a massive elephant with incredible 8-foot tusks that roamed these parts of Europe 300,000 years ago the same period the hunting spears have carbon dated to. Isn't this astonishing? We are told in no uncertain terms that human ancestors had reached Europe by this time, although it would take at least another 250,000 years for modern humans to arrive. These early people may have been in the area at this time because their lineage was first established in the continent 100,000 years before the elephant's death, according to the Natural History Museum, with early fossils found in Swasey, Kent, and Spain. These early settlers were capable of making stone tools and able to build and use these tools and wooden spears to hunt for food, which seemingly placed human activity to 400,000 years ago in this area. The massive elephant, which was larger than today's African elephant, stood an estimated 12 foot tall and weighed 10 tons, according to archaeologists from the University of Tübingen who also identified it as a female and said it was an older individual due to its worn teeth. A complete lower jaw, large bones from three of the four legs, numerous vertebrae, ribs and all five delicate hyoid bones from the animal's neck were also recovered from the remains. It is thought the elephant died due to old age rather than human hunting, although the researchers have not completely discounted this with head of the excavation, Jordi Sangili, saying that although human ancestors were accomplished hunters, there was no reason for them to go after such large and dangerous prey. Straight tusked elephants were a part of their environment, and the hominins knew that they frequently died on the lakeshore, he said. The Stone Age hunters probably cut meat, tendons, and fat from the carcass before carrying as much as they could from much smaller animals, but we do not seek to rule out that extremely dangerous elephant hunts may have taken place with larger groups of hunters. But the evidence often leaves us in some doubt and mostly in the dark with bite marks left on the elephant's bones simply betraying the presence of scavengers. Ancient human tools at the site suggest sharpening took place and archaeologist Barbara Alvarez found microflakes embedded in two long bones and was able to refit two small flakes into grooves confirming this. Tracks from a small herd of adults and youngsters have been found less than 350 feet from the remains, lending weight to the view other elephants were in the area. One of the researchers from the University of Rome who analyzed the marks said that the heavy animals were walking in parallel by the lake shore when their feet sank into the mud, leaving behind circular tracks with a maximum diameter of about 23 inches. When the elephant was alive, evidence from sediments suggests the climate was very much like it is today, but with a wealth of animals similar to the Serengeti as opposed to the life that doesn't exist in these parts of Europe anymore, this is a window into the past and the possible influence our kind may have had on the behavior of life here on the earth. The lake shores were populated by at least 20 large mammals including lions, bears, saber-toothed cats, rhinoceroses, wild horses, deer, and large cow with many exquisite finds having been made at this major archaeological site in Germany previously and currently, which provide clues as to the environment at the time and evolution and de-evolution of human activity and the influence our kind has had, as well as what may be stopping us in our tracks as history unfolds. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.